Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of an example of hepatocellular carcinoma, which is a malignancy arising from the hepatocytes. Here we have a slice of the liver, and we can see this relatively well-circumscribed nodular tumor mass. The mass protrudes out of the liver capsule here, causing this distorted nodular appearance. And on the opposite surface, you can see that it is fairly lobulated, very fleshy, and tan in color. Looking carefully at the mass, we can observe that there are some areas of blackish hemorrhage, and there are also some paler areas here and here, which appear a little bit friable or breaking apart, and these pale areas represent foci of necrosis. Let's look at one other example. As you can see here, there are several examples of hepatocellular carcinoma, some of them, as we have seen here, not occurring in the background of cirrhosis, and others occurring in the background of cirrhosis. Let's have a look at this example, where there is underlying cirrhosis. This is another example of hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, and this time occurring on a background of cirrhosis. Let's just orientate ourselves by looking at the label. So we can see here, this is the cirrhotic liver parenchyma. This region is the tumor. And let's zoom in. This tumor appears to be relatively well circumscribed, fleshy and tan, and there are some areas of necrosis and cystic degeneration. And if we look in the liver parenchyma, we can see that it is composed of numerous nodules of varying sizes. And in fact, in this region, we can see that the nodules impart this very irregular nodular surface to the liver capsule. And this is indicative of cirrhosis. The tumor itself appears a lot more fleshy and larger, and hence is distinct from the background cirrhotic nodules. Turning this around, we can see an interesting feature here, this rounded nodule within a vascular structure, and this is actually the tumor nodule within the portal vein. So there is tuber thrombus involving the portal vein. Let's learn a bit more about hepatocellular carcinoma. This is a tumor that occurs with highest frequency in Asia. It usually affects middle-aged adults to older adults with a slight male predominance. There are risk factors which include cirrhosis. Um, this can be due to any cause, for example, alcoholic, hepatitis, etc. Chronic viral hepatitis itself, in particular hepatitis B and C, is also a predisposing factor, as well as chronic liver disease which can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, etc. And environmental agents such as aflatoxins, these are produced by the fungal species Aspergillus and can be found in some grains. And this results in mutations that can give rise to hepatocellular carcinoma. Anabolic steroids, thorotrust, and oral contraceptives have also been linked with HCC. And also some developmental or congenital disorders. In addition, pre-existing benign lesions such as hepatocellular adenoma can also, in a minority of cases, go on to develop hepatocellular carcinoma. Clinically, these patients may present with loss of weight, abdominal pain, hepatomegaly on examination, and ascites. And there are also very characteristic imaging findings, in particular, on contrast, CT or MRI, there is hyperenhancement during the arterial phase and washout in the venous phase. And this is because the tumor draws its blood supply from the hepatic artery rather than the portal vein, as in the rest of the non-neoplastic liver. Grossly, these tumors are relatively well circumscribed, as we have seen in our examples. And the color can be quite variable. We have seen a tan tumor. Sometimes the tumors can be greenish because of bowel production and also even have a yellowish appearance due to the accumulation of lipid within the tumor cells. There may also be areas of hemorrhage, as we saw, and necrosis. 
And sometimes these tumors can have satellite nodules adjacent or close to the main tumor mass. There are several patterns of gross appearance of HCC. There can be a well-circumscribed single mass, or sometimes multiple masses, or even a more diffusely infiltrative appearance. And remember that there may also be background cirrhosis. All these virtual pathology specimens are taken from our free online pathology resource path web. You can scan this QR code to register, or the registration link is also found in the video description. Here is an example of hepatocellular carcinoma with this fleshy tumor here arising on a background of cirrhosis. Here is an example of a multifocal HCC with multiple tumor masses. And in this case, the liver does not show any background cirrhosis. And here are some other examples of multifocal hepatocellular carcinoma. In this instance, also occurring on a background of cirrhosis. Here is the gallbladder. This is the cirrhotic liver. And here we can see multiple tumor nodules. And here is another example where it's quite faint, but we can see multiple tumor nodules. Let's have a very quick look at this example. And here is the liver, and I'm just going to have a closer look. We can see that there are these pale nodules, which can be quite subtle sometimes, grossly, but these are foci of hepatocellular carcinoma. And here again, here again, here again. And you can see that this tumor is indeed multifocal with multiple tumor nodules. And similarly, we can also see the same appearance on the opposite side, recognizing that there are multiple fleshy tumor nodules. And here is yet another pattern, which is the diffuse pattern of infiltration, where we do not really see a single discrete well-circumscribed tumor mass, but rather just diffusely infiltrative tumor. And microscopic examination will show the features of hepatocellular carcinoma. There is a separate video describing the microscopic features, but briefly, on microscopy, hepatocellular carcinoma shows a disruption of architecture where the cells are arranged in very broad, abnormally broad trabeculae. And sometimes we can also see these almost gland-like spaces we can see here. And this is known as pseudoglandular architecture. This is not uncommon in HCC. Sometimes we can also see that the tumor cells produce bile, and this is not demonstrated in this picture. Again, these pictures are taken from PathWeb. And you can refer to the separate video in PathWeb on microscopic features. Treatment has several modalities, ablation, embolization, for example, transarterial chemoembolization or surgical resection, especially if the tumor is solitary and liver function is still good. And in suitable patients, liver transplants may also be considered. The prognosis really depends on the stage, the grade, the histologic subtype. There are several subtypes with a better prognosis, for example, fibrolabular, steatohepatitic, and chromophobic HCC, and certain subtypes with worse prognosis, for example, sarcomatoid HCC. And also the presence of background cirrhosis, multifocality with multiple tumor nodules, and the presence of lymphovascular invasion all herald a worse prognosis. Hence, in summary, this is an example of hepatocellular carcinoma, which is a relatively well-circumscribed fleshy tan tumor mass arising in the liver from hepatocytes. And this can arise in non-serotic or serotic livers. In this instance, this particular liver shows features of background cirrhosis. Thank you.